of Da Vinci's famous painting. This is our replica of Da Vinci's famous painting, Salvator Mundi. It is the uh, most expensive painting in the world and it last sold for $450 million. There is a secret and a mystery that surrounds this painting. It actually went missing for a very long time and it just recently resurfaced till this day. Scientists and experts are still... Shalom, shalom. Call her law, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakakwadash, just giving all praise to the Most High. The name is only begotten the Son, the name of the Holy Spirit. Double honors to our teachers, the elders, and apostles, the great most only taught us his truth, the truth and sincerity, peace and salutations to the hopeful like scattered abroad. My name is Ibar from the Prophets in Babylon, camp down here in Tampa, Florida. Shadow warm to the 144,000. And real quick, man, Esau with the lies, all right? Now this woman, she going to say a bunch of gibberish. I'm not even going to play all that because, you know, it's just, it's just a bunch of madness. But, um... <clears throat> I want to go into this picture right here, okay? And this is a replica, but the original painting, I guess. So she said it sold for $450 million for a false image, a false painting of the Lord, okay? The Lord, who you ignorantly call Jesus, his name is Yahweh Shai in the ancient Pale order or the Paleo-Hebrew. And he, he looks nothing like this, okay? This is not a this is not biblical, all right? So this is just a quick back to the basics because we're going to show you what the Lord looks like according to the Bible. All right. If in fact, he was a Jew and the Jews were um, dark skinned people. All right. And uh, Leonardo da Vinci, who painted this and play this back. This is our replica of da Vinci's famous painting, Salvatore Mundi. It is the uh, most expensive painting in the world. And it last sold for four hundred and fifty million dollars. It last sold for four hundred and fifty million dollars. She said it's the most expensive painting in the world for a false image of the Lord. Can you believe this? There is a secret and a mystery that surrounds this painting. It actually went missing for a very long time, and it just recently resurfaced. Till this day, scientists and experts are still trying to figure out the mystery of this orb that Jesus is holding. So she's concerned with the orb he's holding. And in fact, instead of in fact, there's not been a biblical description of the Lord. All right, so let's just grab that real quick. All right. This is um, Revelation chapter one, verse one. It says the revelation of Jesus Christ, whose true name is Yahweh. I mean, it's like Yahweh Shai Hamashiach. All right. So we're going to go call him by his name. The revelation of Yahweh Shai Hamashiach, which the Most High gave unto him to show unto his servants things which must shortly come to pass. And he sent and, and signified it by his angel unto his servant, John. OK, so the Lord showed. Um, or the Most High had it revealed unto John what his uh, the, the the Lord looks like. Okay, jumping down, it says, um, getting right to the point. It says, verse thirteen, and in the midst of the seven candlesticks, which is the menorah, one like unto the Son of Man, clothed with a garment down to the foot and a girt about the paps, with a golden girdle. His head and his hairs were white like wool as white as snow and his eyes were as a flame of fire so does this guy has white woolly hair which woolly can mean kinky or nappy does he have you know afro you know woolly hair white it's not even white okay it said and his eyes were as a flame of fire this guy's eyes are not like a flame of fire he looks like he's you know on, on some pills or something it says as and his feet like 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 his feet like fine brass, which brass is a derivative of brown, as if they burnt in a furnace. So the, if the Lord's feet was a derivative a, a derivative of brown, as if they burned in a furnace, he was a dark skinned man. Okay, and his voice as the sound of many waters. So he had a very you know deep voice. This guy right here is a is a shaggy haired mo. Okay, and we'll go to some to some history about this guy because the guy who painted him. Well, let's learn a little bit about, about the man who painted this image. All right. This is Cora. It says, are the rumors true about Cesare Borgia, which is the which is that image that's painted right here. This is a man named Cesare Borgia, the sixth pope of Rome's son, who was a, a mo. OK, he was a homosexual. He, 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 he had sex with his sister. And I believe he killed his brother. OK. It says. 
is a, are the rumors true about Cedric Borgia and Leonardo da Vinci being in a homosexual relationship? And his picture was ordered by the Pope uh, six of uh, to be the new uh, to be the new Jesus Christ? Question mark. It says not a rumor at the time, but da Vinci was employed by the Borgias and worked on an engineering project for Cesare. So it would have been possible. So look, it would have been possible. It says. It says a book suggested this a few years ago. I doubt it can be known for sure. We have to no evidence that da Vinci ever painted Cesare, but he but but he did paint. Uh, La Syria or whatever. So, <laughs> let me read this. Whenever I'm having a bad day, I like to remember all the homophobic Christians that have pictures of Caucasian Jesus actually have pictures of Da Vinci's boyfriend. Always pr improves my mind. Right. So there you go. All right. And that's that's what you saw in that picture. That's not the Lord. He doesn't have white woolly hair. He doesn't have eyes as red as fire. He doesn't have, you know, skin as brass. All right. Um, let me grab one more showing you that the Jews, because the Lord sprung out of Judah, right? It says how the Lord sprang out of Judah. All right. So, you know, the point is that the Lord, you know, the, the, the Lord is getting rid of all these lies, man. Okay. This is Jeremiah chapter 14, verse 2. It says, Judah mourneth, the gates thereof languish, they are black unto the ground. And the cry of Jerusalem has gone up, going to this word black. Okay, because Judah is uh, that's where you get that, that's where the word Jew comes from. So the true Jews are black. It says are black. They let's go into this word black, which means the, I believe the word is Kadar. Oh, man. Don't do this to me. Blue that have been tripping lately, so Lord willing, we can get it. All right, it's not going to show it. I don't have a lot of time, but it, but it, but it means you know, um, basically it means a, a a dark skin, you know, to to have dark skin, which that that that, that hey, that's the Lord. The Lord has dark skin. All right, let me grab this real quick, and before I close out, just want to make this you know, um, this revelation. OK, which revelation means to reveal. So when, when it was revealed unto John the Revelator, what the Lord looked like, he didn't come. He didn't come looking like this. OK, he didn't come looking like this, man. OK, or like this. All right. That's that. That's garbage. That's garbage, man. All right. And they, they want to they want 400. Look at this. Look, oh, they want four hundred and fifty million dollars for that picture. That's the, what it last sold for. That's madness. You got to be a total idiot. To buy that picture seeing as you have not read the bible at all it says leonardo was very likely gay that doesn't mean he is he was that doesn't mean he was screw in his patrons cesare wasn't or at least was more heterosexual given what we know about his life and how many children he had and how much a womanizer he was yeah yeah yeah, yeah. really all these edomites go go both ways okay or one way it says, yes, first of, of all, the Lord's name is not Jesus. Bad trans, transliteration. Second, Yahushua, which is Yahweh Shai, was a light skinned black man. OK. Original Hebrews had dark skin. So did the Egyptians. OK, so you, you're going to get a little bit of truth in, in, in a bunch of bullshit, you know, on these on, 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 in these um, in these questions or whatever or, or in these answers. But we know the truth because it's in the scriptures. The scriptures tell us that the Lord had dark skin. All right. So let me close out with this right here. It's the second Ezra chapter six, verse 27. For evil shall be put out and deceit shall be quenched. And this is deceit. OK, scriptures talk about how they paint the likeness of their faces. Um, the heathen sought to paint the likeness of their faces. That they, That's deceit, man. Deceit is going to be quenched for uh, as for faith. It shall flourish. Corruption shall be overcome. And the truth, which have been so long without fruit shall be declared and that's what's happening in the earth the truth is being declared okay let me grab this real quick because this this was that deceit it says maccabees 3 verse uh, uh 48 and laid open the book of the law wherein the heathen which is anybody who is not a hebrew israelite 
Okay, if you're not an Israelite, you are a heathen. And, uh, you know, this is predominantly talking about these Hebrew Edomites. Okay, these heathens had sought to paint the likeness of their images. So they paint, they whitewash these images of, of the Lord and the patriarchs of the Bible. And they paint the likeness of their image. They made, they made them look like them. Okay, that's why you get all these white images. Okay, or, or really red images. They've been whitewashed. Okay, let's bring this back. Truth shall flourish. And we'll close out because, you know, and, and they're and they guessing whether, whether the God was a more or not. We already know. It says, as for faith, it shall flourish. Corruption shall be overcome. And that was corruption. And the truth, which have been so long without fruit, shall be declared. All right. So the Israelites, the Lord, you know, they were all dark skinned people. All right. And these lies that have been, uh, you know, constantly you know being con conjured up and 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 uh and and i guess you could say in in this world and history you know it's 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 finally being you know um uh dissolved and the truth is starting to flourish all right the truth is coming out the truth is here all right the truth is here man all right so we in that time oh i just had that up too enemy because because of this truth is coming out, you got Edomites burn burning Bibles. <laughs> it says, uh, oh shit. So like in Galatians 4 and 16, have I become your enemy? Because I tell you the truth. So like I'm going to the place, it's going to get loud. Bear with me. Let's check a little more on this. Galatians chapter 4 verse 16, and I therefore become your enemy because I tell you the truth. So you tell somebody the truth and they get upset, they get all mad and shit, start acting weird, you know. That shows you that, uh, you know, that the seed is being quenched. You know, to, to, to tell a lie, you got to know the truth. Okay? To tell a lie, you got to know the truth. And if you don't know the truth, you can't tell a lie. Okay? It's just uh, ignorance. All right? But to, to tell a lie, you got to know the truth. And these people, they, they know the truth. They know the truth. And now that the truth is coming out, they're upset. All right, so there you go. With that, be said, I'm to Shalom. Come to Allah, by the ball. I pray that's the edifying to go to the left. Shalom.